Welcome back to the show. You ladies are going to love this segment. I am joined right now with Christina Rilo and Amy Ehlers, and you guys are with the Inner Mean Girl Reform School. Yes. I think that is a hilarious <laughs> title. Um, you coach women on, on really how to be a better friend to themselves. So why is it that women are so hard on themselves all the time? We found is that there's been this unintended impact of the feminist movement. Like, ladies, it's great. We've been liberated. <laughs> yes. But now we are in this new jail cell where we've been told you can do anything. Right. But, oh, my God, I feel pressured to do everything. Uh, right. So we're never <laughs> measuring up because really it's, it's impossible. And on the flip side to that is that we've also been told that our value comes from doing. <laughs> and so it, it, that's how we measure ourselves. If we're not right. doing, then we're failing. And you can't do everything. You can't do everything. It's you ridiculous can't. to think you can. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I find, too, when I talk to women all the time. They're yeah. just this whirling dervish mm -hmm. all the time. Yes. I call them the Energizer Bunny gone mad. And the pink <laughs> puffs of fur coming out of your behind because your batteries are so you know out of whack. You guys have a lot of... Um, uh, titles in here that you name all these inner mean girls. Yeah. First of all, I love that you call it the inner mean girl. Yeah. I've heard inner critic before, which yeah. I guess is similar. What's the difference? It, it is, but I mean, it sounds so psychological, <laughs> you know, and, and impersonal. Yes. And right. let's be real. The inner mean girl, she is personal. Yes. She's catty. Right. She's judgmental. Mm -hmm. She's mean. Right. Yeah. yeah I, I've heard too, um, we've talked about this before. You say things to yourself that you would never, never say ever. to anybody yeah. because mm -hmm. you'd get smacked or right. taken out of the restaurant or whatever. Right. right? <laughs> Um, I want to talk about a few of these because I you have this list of probably uh, a dozen or so, and I think I'm more than one. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, Most yes. women are. Welcome yes. to the club. You're normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the good girl. Mm. Um, what does she do? Oh, my gosh. The good girl. Well, this kind of inner mean girl is the one that says you have to say yes all the time. Right. Mm. You have to be polite all the time. It's more important to be polite than authentic. You can never say no. Right. You need to be the good girl. Sit straight. Do your thing. You know, I mean, she's really brutal. She doesn't allow you to be authentic. Um, perfectionist is another one that I found that I think I was one. You have to talk yes. about the perfectionist. Yeah, well, I think a lot of women have this. And mm. she is on you to say you have to do it this way or don't do it at all. Or, you know, I know we've talked about your perfectionist person, and she's the one that's walking in and saying, here's everything that's wrong. Mm -hmm. right? right? So when you mm -hmm. walk into your house, do you see what's right? right. No. no. You see everything that's wrong. When you just have a great project that you've just finished and, like, kicked butt, mm -hmm. what does she see? The pimple on your face. Right? Well, exactly. You know? I, I, exactly. And, and I think we obsess mm -hmm. on those things. What are some of the other ones that, that you find that are common? Yeah. I guess they're all common. Well, Loveless Lulu is one of my favorite ones to talk about. This is actually based on a client of mine. She was one of those women that never could find a relationship. And so we named her inner mean girl Loveless Lulu. And picture this, right? Cigarette in one hand, martini in the other, and she would say, you can never be loved, kid. Right? So she had this voice all the time saying, you'll right. never be loved, you'll never oh, be enough, so no man will ever love you. Mm -hmm. And through the course of identifying Loveless Lulu, right. we took her out of the driver's seat, and in less than a year, she was engaged, and she got married on TV. I guess my final question would be, I mean... Do you get over this? <laughs> is there hope at the end of the tunnel? Oh, it's such a good question. I mean, there is hope mm -hmm. because it's about taking her out of the driver's seat and not letting her make your decisions anymore. And it's not that they ever go away. I mean, we, certainly Christine and I have overcome certain inner mean girls, but instead then other ones will be born. Like when I became a mom, I gave birth not only to my gorgeous daughter, but also right. to a different inner mean girl. You call her helicopter parents, right? Right, right. She hover, 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 right. hover, hover, hover. Yeah, so I had to get rid of her. Uh -huh. And then, you know, you have other ones, and as you take risks in your life, you, you know, yeah, and, and what I, we find is that you can transform the voices yes. and that you become more aware of the voices, right? Mm, so right. when my mean girl, her name is Mean Patty, <laughs> who's actually been transformed, she used to be a comparison queen, and now she's my talent scout. She goes out and finds a great woman like you and says, look at these women are doing, they're great, versus like, why aren't you doing that, you know? So she's been completely transformed, and her energy is focused on being a talent scout. But I'm also super aware of her. So if she's even trying to get into the driver's seat in my car, right. I can smell her coming. And I'm like, oh, no. Right. 
yeah, back well, seat baby. Yeah. It's like alcoholism or anything else. Yeah, recognition right. is the first step it's to recovery. Absolutely, the first step. First step. It's the first yeah. step. And then what starts to happen is that you start to notice when she shows up in your patterns and behaviors. Like right. you can feel her in oh, your yeah, body. Absolutely. And so you start to turn the channel. So we always talk about turning the channel from your inner mean girl, which she lives on 88.9 FEAR, <laughs> fear, <laughs> and turning to your inner wisdom channel, which is 108.00 LOVE. When we come back, we're going from nourishing our souls and our inner mean girl to actually nourishing our stummies and our and our bodies. We're going to be back with the Dirt Diva talking about organic edibles. 